South Florida is full of popular historic places, but what most people don't know is that on Bird Road sits one of the country's oldest comic book stores, A&M Comics and Books. With how it looks, you probably wouldn't want to go inside, but trust me, inside it is filled with treasures. The store opened in 1974 and was originally divided into three sections. Each section was owned by a different owner and they all shared a rent. The comic books were in the front, in the middle were antiques and ceramics, and in the back were tools and fishing equipment. After about a year or two, two of the renters left and A&M Comics and Books stayed, and it is still there 45 years later. It is now owned by George Perez, who was actually a customer when he was a young boy. As a kid, George would roam the store looking for some of his favorite comics to complete his collection, and now, along with his trusty assistant, Ruben, they run the store with passion and knowledge. I remember as a child coming in here, and my original comics were Archie, Richie Rich, Little Hotshot, and things like that. They were all very kids' comics. Within a year and a half, I collected X-Men 1 to 120. And from that, I collected Avengers 1 and up, and then I was hooked. And since I have the store, technically, this is my collection. I am probably down 500 books. When you own a store, you can't keep the best. And if you're going to collect, you try to collect the best. So, you eventually have to shed back. When it comes to displaying his collection, George loses no space. There is not an empty inch from the floor to the ceiling. All their books are alphabetically organized in bins or in boxes that they have memorized making it easier to guide a customer to what they are looking for. As an antique comic book store, they own collectible toys and comic books that attract collectors who are looking to fill in the gaps in their collections, but most of their sales come from newer comics. What a and Comics and Books lacks in modern interior design, they make up for it with their rich history. But they don't follow trends or keep up with the digital age, and that doesn't always appeal to customers, especially the younger ones. That's why some people would consider visiting a more trendy store like that of Nowhere Toys Comics and Gaming in Hialeah, Florida. Nowhere Toys Comics and Gaming is the opposite of A&M Comics and Books. From the shopping center where it's located to the lighting inside the store, even its interior design, it's as modern as a comic book store can get. The company has been open for 15 years and they started doing shows displaying their collectibles and items throughout the country. They then transitioned online about 10 years ago and it was only a year ago that they opened their brick and motors in Hialeah, Florida. I mean, I've been collecting for well over 20 years. Um, I've been in the industry for about 15 years plus and what really, what really got me started, honestly, it's um, I had a friend that came over, saw my collection, and offered me a pretty penny for a couple pieces. Then I said, "What? You know what? I think I can make some money off of, uh, off this stuff and doing what I like." Inside, everything is categorized and sectioned, with the newest releases front and centered, making it easier for customers to find exactly what they are looking for. It's, it's more having its comic book area because the collectors that that come in and they like the comics, they want to stick within that area. So we kind of group everything. Same thing with the Funko Fanatics. The Funko Fanatics will come in and they're strictly Funko. So we've got our new arrivals in the front, but we do have a, a separate Funko area, of course. And the same thing with the action figures and everything else. And it's, it seems that the guy that's coming in and wanting vintage figures, they're gonna go straight to the vintage. You know, there's not a lot of collectors that collect a little bit of everything. Usually everyone's geared to a certain, uh, pop culture item. To stand out from other modern stores, Nowhere focused on its family-friendly atmosphere. Well, we opened up the second floor about two months ago. The reason why we opened that is we wanted this store and this location to be something for everyone. So you can walk in here, whether it's with your parents or your kids, and there's something for your kids if they want to go upstairs and play magic or, or uh, console gaming. Not a lot of places actually offer console and board gaming and card gaming under one roof. We offer everything involving gaming upstairs. From retro gaming to, uh, to modern computer gaming to play Overwatch, or you can even play SNES and NES games. Or you can go to Pokemon, you can play Yu-Gi-Oh! You can even go into Warhammer and play on one of our fields upstairs. You know, 20 to 30 years ago, being a nerd wasn't cool. And now, being a nerd is cool. No matter how different these stores might seem, they have one common goal. And that goal is for people of all ages to continue reading comics for years and years to come.